What's going on, boys and girls? Well, two more days until Tennessee and Oklahoma. And before I get to that game, I want to discuss video making. Been doing this 15 years. You guys hear me hear me talk about that all the time. And over the last couple of years, I've sweated and pondered and racked my brain trying to figure out what I should do next on here to grow the channel. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But I've decided I'm just going to get on here and continue doing what I've been doing for 15 years. Why not? We've got a ton of new Tennessee video makers. Everybody's doing pretty much the same thing. You know, call it what you want to call it. But everybody is a sports center anchor now on here. Everybody. And I don't want to be that. I've never wanted to be that. And I'm not, I haven't been that. And I'm not going to be that. So, what else are you going to do? Right? I'm going to get on here. I might talk a little trash. I might not. I'm just going to get on here and be a fan. You know, I know a lot of a lot of channels say they're, you know, fans. They're not professionals. Yes, I'm talking to you, Boogie. Uh, but that, that guy's a professional. Slice it any way you want it. It might be him and a bunch of fans sitting down talking Tennessee football, but he does things in a way that is presented in a professional way. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's done great at it. He's a great success. He, he's doing marvelous. No changes needed on that channel. I, you know, I just feel like no change is needed here. I'm going to turn the camera on. I'm going to make videos. Some days I might get on here unscripted, like today, and talk about the Tennessee-Oklahoma game, talk about video making, talk about why I'm wearing sunglasses. You know, it is during the day, so you at least can't say, why is he wearing sunglasses tonight? The glare. I've got a big window right behind my two monitors here. So, you know, it's without these glasses, the glare is brutal. So that's why I'm wearing glasses. But anyway, getting back to this whole video making thing. If you like what you've seen over the past 15 years, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Share it out with everybody. I sure would appreciate it. Any any donations, any super chats, any all that crap, greatly appreciated. That's part of it. That's why a lot of people do this. And to be quite honest, it's not why I do it, but it's a big part of why I do it because it supplements my income. And I know you guys get tired of hearing me talk about it, but tough. I, you know, I got to bring it up. If I don't bring it up, you don't think about it. I don't think about it. And nobody donates. And the channel makes no money. So there you go. Hit old BBD up. I sure would appreciate it. Now, let's get to this game. Oni Kuno. Josh Heupel's not going anywhere. I saw your video today. Nice attempt. And there are Tennessee fans hiding in the corner, scared to death about Heupel leaving. I'm not scared. Look, if Heupel leaves, sayonara. We'll get another one. What else are you going to do, right? I mean, I'm not going to spend my time sitting around worrying about whether the coach at Tennessee is going to take a gazillion dollars to go somewhere else when he could stay home in Knoxville and make a gazillion dollars. Not affecting my life either way. So I say Tennessee, go to Norman, beat the shit out of Oklahoma, like a lot of people are expecting. 
and come back home and we'll let the chips fall where they may. Onikuno. Nice try, though. Good try. I see what you did there. And you did a good job at it. You're, you're good at what you do, man. You are. Kuno's good at what he does. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Oni Kuno. Longtime Oklahoma video maker. Been doing this as long or longer than me. Great guy. He'll be on the show tonight, hopefully. If not, we'll get him on after, after the game. After we go to Norman and hopefully win. Hoghead, I hope you're having a great time over there. Uh, you know, I could talk trash about the state of Oklahoma, uh, the, the University of Oklahoma, but quite honestly, I don't want to. I just go, I, I just want to go win this game. I want Nico to go ball out. I want I want us to go over there and do what we should do. I think we have better athletes. I think we have more athletes. I think we, I, think, I just think we have a better roster. And we should go win this game. Yes, it's in Norman. It's going to be a hostile environment. Crowd's going to be loud. They're going to be getting on us. It's going to be tough. Not going to be easy. Shouldn't be. I mean, it shouldn't be easy at all. We should go over there and and kick the shit up. I want to say. Uh, you know, I, I've gone back and forth on this game. Part of me thinks we should go over there and dominate. Part of me thinks we're going to go over there and struggle. We haven't had a struggle yet. We played three cupcakes. Doesn't even describe it. But we're, we're in the same boat as Ohio State right now. We have played nobody. The only difference is that we played one more nobody than them. Oklahoma, you know, they've struggled with a couple of teams. And... One game they look good, next game they look like doo doo. So which Jackson Arnold's going to show up? Which which Oklahoma team's going to show up to this game? They got a lot of pressure on them too. You know this this is just this is not just a lot of pressure on Josh Heupel in Tennessee to win this game. It's Oklahoma's very first SEC game. I know they've been waiting for it. Couldn't have been a better game for them to be their first SEC game. And I get it, Kuno. It means more to Oklahoma, too. Oklahoma is one of those places where football means more than a lot of things. Same in Tennessee. You know, football means more in Tennessee than a lot of other things do in life. Sad to say, but it's it's true. It is. If you're a Tennessee fan, you agree with me. If you're an Oklahoma fan, you probably should agree with me. If you're a huge diehard OU fan. But look, Tim Banks has got to have a great game this week. Brent Venables has got to have a great game this week. Dialing up plays, dialing up defenses. Everybody's got to be on their A game this week, but somebody's not. Somebody's going to slip up somewhere, and it's just a matter of who slips up more, who slips up more often. I'd like to think with Dylan Sampson, our running game should be okay. I know Oklahoma's good against the run, but so are we. We got a great backup running back. He's shifty. He's elusive. Same thing. You know, he can be coming right at you, and then he's gone. And I like that about him. I like 
I like the fact that we have receivers everywhere. And here's something to think about, Oklahoma. Insignificant as it may be, petty as it might be, we've got a Nimrod on our team. No other team, probably maybe in the history of sports, can say that they had a Nimrod on their team. <laughs> but we got one, and he's pretty good. Yeah. Look out for the Nimrod. Look out for the Brazzle. Look out for the Brew. Look out for the Squirrel. Look out for all of them. Dante Thornton. You know. Nico hasn't had a bad game yet. Is this the day he has his bad game? Could be. But I think we got enough people around him to pick him up. And lift him to get him through this. I'm not really ready to give you a final score yet. Final scores don't matter. I just want Tennessee to win. That's all I care about. I want us to win big. Say three or four scores. But I don't really know that that's going to happen. So. Kuno, you're not taking our coach. I'm not worried about it. We need to win big and continue this train on the tracks, rolling over people, and continue the rebirth, well, not rebirth, the revitalization of the program of Tennessee football. It's safe to say we're back. I think that's pretty safe to say. But now let's just keep on cooking. And let's go to Norman. And cook up some Sooners. Sooner rather than later. Because Oklahoma is not okay in my book. At least for this weekend. After this weekend, you can do whatever you want. Go balls. Screw y'alls. Hug your mom and daddy. I love you. I mean it. We'll see you tonight. <laughs>